Our story today is the story of Little Black Mingo by Ellen Bannerman, the author of the story of Little Black Sambo. New words. Doby means a laundry man and Morga is a crocodile. Join me on this wonderful adventure. Once upon a time, there was a little black girl and her name was Little Black Mingo. She had no father and mother, so she had to live with a horrid, cross old woman called Black Nuggy, who used to scold her every day and sometimes beat her with a stick even though she had done nothing naughty. One day, Black Nuggy called her and said, Take this shotgun down to the river and fill it with water and come back as fast as you can. Quick now! So, little Black Mingo took the chatty and ran down to the river as fast as she could and began to fill it with water when crack bang a horrible big mugger poked its nose up through the bottom of the chatty and said ha ha little mingo i'm going to hit you up little black mingo did not say anything she turned and ran away as fast as ever she could and the mugger ran after her but the broken chatty around his neck cut his paws so he could not overtake her but when she got back to black nuggy and told her how the mugger had broken the chatty Black Nogi was fearfully hungry. You're a naughty girl, she said. You have broken the chatter yourself. I have a good mind to beat you. And if she had not been in such a hurry for water, she would have beaten her. Then she went and fetched the great big chatty that the doby used to boil close in. Take this, said she, and mind you, don't break it, or I will beat you. But I can't carry that when it's full of water, said little black mingo. I must go twice and bring it out full each time, said black nuggy so little black mingo took the doby's great big chatty and started again to go to the river but first she went to a little bank above the river and peeped up and down to see if she could see the old mugger anywhere. But she could not see him, for he was hiding under the very bank she was standing on. Though he still stuck out a little, she never saw him at all. She would have liked to run home, but she was too much afraid that Black Nuggy would beat her. So, little black Mingo crept down to the river and began to fill the big chatty with water. And while she was filling it, the mugger came creeping softly down behind her and caught her by the tail, saying, 
Aha! Little Black Mingo, now I've got you! And Little Black Mingo said, Oh, please don't eat me up, great big mugger! What will you give me if I don't eat you up? Said the mugger. But Little Black Mingo was so poor, she had nothing to give. So, the mugger caught her in his great cruel mouth and swam away with her to an island in the middle of the river and set her down beside a huge pile of eggs. Those are my eggs, said he. Tomorrow, a little mugger will come out of each and then <laughs> we will have a great feast and we will eat you up. <laughs> then he waddled off to catch fish for himself and left little black mingo alone beside the big pile of hex. And little black mingo sat down on a big stone and hid her face in her hands and cried bitterly because she couldn't swim and she didn't know how to get away. <laughs> Presently, she heard a quiet little squeaky noise that sounded like squeak, squeak, squeak. Oh, little black mingo, help me, or I shall be drowned. She got up and looked to see what was calling, and she saw a bush coming, floating down the river with something wriggling and scrambling about in it. And as it came near, she saw that it was a mongoose that was in the bush. So, she waded out as far as she could and caught hold of the bush and pulled it in. And the poor mongoose crawled up her hand to her shoulder and she carried him to shore. When they got to shore, the mongoose shook himself and little black mango wrung out her petticoats. And so, they both very soon got dry. The mongoose then began to poke out for something to eat. And very soon, he found the great big pile of mugger's head. Said he, What's this? Those are Mugger's heads, said Little Black Mingo. I'm not afraid of Mugger's, said the Mongols, and he sat down and began to crack the eggs and eat the little Mugger's as they came out. And they threw the shell into the water so that the whole Mugger should not see that anyone had been eating them but he was careless and he left one eggshell under the egg and he was hungry and he ate so many that the pal got much smaller and when the old mugger came back he saw at once that someone had been meddling with them. So he ran to little black Mingo and said, How dare you hit my eggs? Indeed, indeed, I didn't, said little black Mingo. Then who could it have been? said the mugger. And he ran back to the eggs as fast as he could. And sure enough, when he got back, he found the mongoose. Then he said to himself, Must stay beside my eggs till they are hatched into little mongoose, or the mongoose will eat them all. So, 
he curled himself into a ring around the eggs and went to sleep. While he was asleep, the mongoose came to eat some more of the eggs and ate as many as he wanted. And when the mugga woke up this time, oh, what a rage was he! For there were only six eggs left. He roared so loudly that all the little muggers inside the shell gnashed their feet and tried to roar too. Then he said, I know what I'll do. I'll fetch little Mingo's big chatty and cover my eggs with that. Then the mongoose won't be able to get at them. So he swam across to the shore and fetched the dobies big chatty and covered the eggs with it. Now you wicked little mongoose, come and eat my eggs if you can said he and he went off quite proud by and by the mongoose came back and he was terribly disappointed when he found the eggs all covered by the big chatty so he ran off to little black mingo and asked her to help him and little black mingo came and took the big chatty of the eggs and the mongoose ate every one of them now said he there will be no little muggers to make a feast for tomorrow no said to black mingo but the mugger will eat me all by himself i'm afraid now he won't said the mongoose for we will sail away together in the big jetty before he comes so he climbed on the edge of the jetty and little black mingo pushed the jetty into the water and then she clambered into it and paddled with her two hands as hard as she could and the big chatty just sailed beautifully so they got across safely and little black mingo filled the chatty out full of water and took it on her head and they went up the bank together but when the mugger came back and found only empty eggshells he was fearfully angry. He roared a rage and he howled and he yelled till the whole island shook and his tears ran down his cheek and pattered on the sand like rain. So he started to chase little black mingo and the mongoose and he swam across the river as fast as ever he could and when he was halfway across he saw them landing and as he landed they hurried across the forest ridge so he raced after them but they ran and just before he caught them they got into the house and banged the door in his face then they shut all the windows so he could not get in anywhere. All right, said he, you will have to come out sometime and I will catch you both and eat you up. So he hid behind the back of the house and waited. Now, Black Noggy was just coming home from the bazaar with a tin of kerosene on her head and a box of matches in her hand. And when he saw her, the mugger rushed out and opened her home. Kerosene, tin, matches and all. When Black Noggy found herself in the mugger's dark inside, 
she wanted to see where she was so she felt for the matchbox took out a match and lit it but the mugger's teeth had made holes in the kerosene tin so <coughs> the kerosene exploded and blew the old mugger and black noggy into little bits at a fearful noise little black mingo and the mongoose came running out and there the found black noggy and the old mug mug all blown to bits so little black mingo and the mongoes got the nice little house for their very own and there they lived happily ever after the end great story kids this story shows us how it is important to be kind to others be kind to your friends be kind to your neighbors be kind to people you do not even know also do not look down on others or cheat them especially if you are bigger stronger smarter or more beautiful than them be kind to everyone thank you for joining me on today's story for more videos please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you see you next time bye bye